Okay. So our question is, if we have an entire population of n equals 20 scores, and we transform all of them into z scores, then we're being asked whether that sum of those z scores will be equal to zero. So the first thing we need to think about is what a z score is. So let's just think about the formula. So we have 20 data points. We have xi, meaning we have uh, x1, x2, all the way to x20. zi is the z-score for our xi value, meaning that it's your ith score. So your first score would be z1, your second score would be z2, your third score would be z3, and so forth. So our formula for zi that we need to consider would be xi minus mu over sigma. And just to recap, sigma is your standard deviation, mu is your mean, and xi is the specific score that you have. So again, x1 would be your first score, x2 would be your second score, and so forth. Okay, so now that we've got that out of the way, uh, we want to look at the sum of the 20 z-scores. So we've got i equals 1 to 20, summing up zi. Okay. So let's write this out. And then we'll group like uh, variables together. So we've got x1 minus mu over sigma plus x2 minus mu over sigma all the way to x20 minus mu over sigma. Now we can rearrange the xi's and the mu's so that they're all together. And then we'll all put it under one denominator because we're just adding up fractions with the same denominator of sigma. So we'll just say over sigma, we've got the sum from i equals one to 20 of xi. This is just representing the fact that we have x1 plus x2 all the way to x plus, plus x20 in our numerator. And then how many times are we subtracting mu? We're subtracting mu here, mu here, and so forth. So it'll end up being minus 20 mu. Okay? So this is the value that corresponds to the sum of our z scores. Sum of xi from i equals 1 to 20 minus 20 mu all over sigma. Now, here's the cool thing. We know that sum of xi from i equals 1 to 20 divided by 20 would be mu, or average, right? Well, and again, the reason that we know it's mu in this case is because this is the entire population. So in this case, the sample mean is equal to the population mean because we're not taking a subset. This is the whole thing. Okay. That out of the way, we'll say sum from i equals 1 to 20 of xi is equal to 20 mu. Therefore, we can plug this value of 20 mu into this expression here. And we get 20 mu minus 20 mu all over sigma. And this is zero. Thus, we can say, yes, it is true. The sum of those z-scores will equal zero. So that's the key thing. Yes, absolutely, the sum of the z-scores equals zero. And here's why. We just need to rearrange the xi's and the mu's using the standard definition of a z-score, and we can see this. Have a good one.